So for Digo, um, two things I want you to be aware of. One is with the list. The lists are no more, so you're not going to be able to find your list over here on the left-hand side. Um, what they are known as now are My Outliners. So across the top, you're going to see My Library, My Outliners, My Groups, Discovery. If you click on My Outliners, um, it's then going to take you into a page. And on here, you can uh, create an outliner. So if I wanted to create one for... Um, um, Apple um, iPad apps. I can create that title there and hit create and it is going to build this. Now the cool thing about Outliner is that it's really supposed to replicate um, your outline uh, like an outline um, that you would create for notes. So for example if I want to create um, so I'm going to create my header here Apple iPad apps and then maybe I put free and then I can come over here and as I'm doing that one of the cool things about that is that I have the ability to add deco items so once again if I want to come over here and grab uh, Pixton um, or maybe Evernote is one of those so I can come over here and drag that in now the cool part once again is um, free Evernote there's my little um, deco bookmark and then I can come over here and make a comment you know free um, iPad we'll just say iOS Android and uh, web um, and, and Mac and Windows. We'll just put little notes about that. So you really have this ability to create, um, you know, kind of these cool outlines um, with your um, with your notes and everything that you bookmark. So that's one of the first really kind of cool pieces um, is that this outline. Now, um, one of the great things with Digo and the outliners is as you're going across, and if I wanted to bookmark a page, so I come over here and I click on add, and I want to add a bookmark to, uh, we'll just say, dot com slash education. And I hit next. Um, it's going to go ahead and grab that information. Um, apparently it does not like my link. Let's fix that. Um, there we go, and I'm going to call this Apple Education. Um, I can write a description, Apple Education site, um, on there. Now, the great thing is right down here, this used to say Add to List. It now says Add to Outliner, so it's very, very similar to your list. So you just click on Add an Outliner, and then you can create an outliner right from here, or you can come down here. Here's my list right here, and I can hit Apple iPad Apps, and then I'm going to hit Add New Bookmark, and it's going to do its magic. Now when I come back to my outliners, I come and find my Apple iPad apps. Look at that, the magic right there. Um, it has added that site directly into my outliners. So once again, uh, the outliners, think of it just like a list, um, as I explained in the previous video, um, that same idea. The only difference is it's a, a much more visually easy to take a look at. And once again, it's kind of that replication of taking notes and creating outlines um, for your class or if you're taking notes. One of the things I really love about this from a student standpoint is this is an amazing way to take notes. So as your students are bookmark bookmarking things with Digo, they have the ability to kind of go ahead and create those notes when these notes basically become interactive and they can um, click on the link, which is then going to take them to Evernote, or um, if they clicked on Apple Education, it's going to do its magic and take them directly to Apple Education's website. So it's kind of like this interactive note. So once again, to be clear on this, um, list are gone and outliners are in, though they're the exact same thing. Um, once again, outliners give you a little more extra functionality. So with your assignment, um, you're not to create lists, but you are to create outliners. So this exact same project, um, if it asks for five lists or two lists, you're going to create your list. Instead, they're going to be outliners. So you need two outliners or five outliners, depending on your rubric for the assignment.